Today we'll be making this fish oil. Alright, welcome to my Dutch designer file. If you're new to Dutch designer, that's completely fine. Please stick around because I made this video very beginner friendly and I put a download link to Dutch designer in the description. It shouldn't take more than a couple minutes to set up and then you can follow this visual and it shouldn't take you very long to make this cool thing I have in the background. To give you a quick overview, I'm gonna dive into this folder. Uh, this is our structure for today. Uh, we've got a small audio analysis part. It's really simple. And then some basic visual stuff. Um, this part doesn't really matter for now. Uh, the important part for this video is the stuff that down here. It's basically a circle which is being displaced and then being fed into a limit top which makes it really pixelated. Uh, and then something together that makes it a bit glitchy. And then we're compositing it over another visual. But this can be anything you want. I'm going to show you how to make this real simple. It's a webcam input and then some cool, cool stuff. Uh, but then we can just add it uh, together and get this cool visual. And then if we make the background black with this one, you get the final result. As always, I'm going to delete my entire structure so you can start with me from the beginning. So everything is gone now. And now we press tab and go to chop and do an audio file in. And you can choose which whatever song you want. Um, I'm just gonna go with the default one. If you wanna hear it, you can do device out. You can hear the default touch designer song. I'm gonna bypass it for now because I don't, I've heard it enough. Then we need a spectrum and analyze and a math. And you can duplicate, duplicate this math on the first one, you're going to go to range and set this to 0 0.13 and 0 0.43. And on the second one, go to range and set it to 0 0.13. That's it for the audio analysis part. Now we're going to make our temporary visual. Um, to do this, add video device in. Um, if you're doing this on a PC and don't have a webcam, you can skip this part and add in another visual like you could you could just take a circle and maybe uh, displace it with some noise uh, let's see do something like this type abs time dot seconds divided by five and turn this to monochrome and you have something to work with uh, you can change the resolution to um, 1920 by 1080 or uh, 1280 by 720 but you'll have something to work with i'm gonna do this for now um hello this is me i'm gonna take an edge uh, i find that is this is really powerful on video uh it does awesome stuff i'm gonna change this to uh, let's some blue bluish color i think i used this uh, and then to make it easy i've got some of my own components I'm gonna add a feedback loop. Um, you can get this one on my Patreon. Uh, you can also make a feedback loop for yourself, but this component uh, is up there under the slow feedback loop uh, tutorial. Uh, it really supports me if you do, uh, but no obligation. Uh, then add a null after this and now go here and insert a transform. Uh, and then go to the audio analysis and copy this over one more time and change this from 1 to 1.1 and then click this uh, go to transform and drag this onto the skill chop reference and now you can see it re responds to audio and in a feedback loop that looks really cool um, now we're done with our temporary visual all right, move this up a bit and then insert a constant chop and do uh, 1280 by 720. This will be our resolution. So we can, let's see, add a circle. 
uh, and go to common and drag this resolu resolution on top of here. Uh, this is useful because if we drag this on, on top of all the things that want a resolution, we can change it all in once. Uh, now insert a noise top. Um, you can set this monochrome off and go to common and drag this on top of here. And then add a displace top, feed this into there and this into there. And now you can see we have some displacement going on, but we want to animate our uh, noise and we can do this by apps time dot seconds uh, divided by five. Uh, this basically takes the seconds the program has been running and now I divide it by five to make it a bit slower. And this makes the noise move. Now insert a limit top, uh, that's over here. Uh, go to quantize and set it to round. Now you can copy that twice uh, and set this to 0 0.1, set the next one to 0 0.45, and this offset to 0 0.06. Uh, and now the third one you can set, set to 0 0.074, and leave it like this. Now insert a displace, and feed this limit into this displace and set it to set the displace weight uh, to let's see 0 0.16 yeah now you can already see it's kind of glitching a bit but we want more so we're gonna do another displace and feed this one into the second displace and set this to 0 0.003 0 0.003 and now we've got uh, our glitchy uh, squares. Add in a level, uh, let's see. And now go to your uh, middle math and drag one of these channels onto the brightness. And now if the music stops or gets really uh, quiet, uh, the brightness will be, uh, it will be completely black so it won't be visible. Uh, now you can insert a switch after your initial visual and then a composition uh, composite uh, after the level and feed in your visual. And now you can see it if it's set to multiply, uh, it takes uh, it multiplies these areas so we get this visual with the outlines of the first and we can feed this into our switch. Then we can do blend between inputs. And if we were to increase this now, it slows, slowly transitions into our visual. Um, next, we can uh, add a null and insert RGB key. And now we can press this and we can see we have our visual. This file and other files are available on my Patreon. So if I've helped you or if anything is unclear and you want to dive into this patch yourself, uh, please head over there as it helps me a lot. Uh, I also will include this custom component where you can change the size of your squares and the intensity of the effect. And you can just download this one and drag it into your file and do whatever you want with it. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.